Okay, so here we are in DVD Studio Pro. This is what it looks like when you open it up. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is create a very simple DVD that plays a single track. So we go to the, we open up with the menu, it's got a play button, you press play, and a video shows. All right, so I'm working with PAL here. Um, there are ways to change the NTSC if you are working in that, but we're working with a PAL project and it's just a matter of um, clicking a few buttons to change that if you need be. But first thing we're gonna do is just identify these different areas. You've got your DVD map here. You've got your assets will be here. You can view your footage here your preview window here, and your templates and your inspector is here. Very important, this inspector, you'll be using it a lot. First thing we're gonna do though is import some assets. Import asset, and from our thing before, we've got these two files that we exported from Compressor. Okay, DVD Studio Pro likes stuff that's been done from Compressor because they're obviously matching programs. All right, so you can see that they've uh, come down here and that their status is green, meaning they're ready to go, ready to use, all happy and dandy. What we're gonna do is apply those to this first track here. So with track one clicked, we're gonna grab the video and drag into the video track here, simple. Sometimes the audio will go with it, but in this case it hasn't. So we're gonna click the audio over as well to match up with it. All right. Um, if you say your video, just while we're here, it's a nice quick thing to do, is that you can click along here to set chapters. And so meaning if you go forward and backwards, these are essentially jump points. This clip is only about 23 seconds long, so we don't really need five chapters. But if you, are, if you do have a video that you know goes for an hour or so and you want to skip between scenes, then that's something nice and simple that you can do. Okay, and you can right click delete marker if you need to. All right, moving on. What we're gonna do now is set up our menu. Now this track is 16 by nine, so I'm just gonna change my menu to 16 by nine, which is over here in the inspector. You'll notice that it's, now, it's highlighted as menu. At the moment, if I click to the track, that changes. You can, you can see all the settings that happened there as well were changed. So I'm gonna go back to menu and change display mode, 16 by nine letterbox. That's just my preference. And that's the way that that's what this video is as well, this track. Okay, so what do we do now to create a play button? So when the DVD opens up, when it's plugged, when it's uh, put in the uh, DVD player, we want a little button that we can press play. And you do this over here in the palette window, styles, Apple buttons. Um, if you have created custom ones or anything like that, you can, they can be in there as well, but um, stock standard comes under Apple and Buttons. And choose any of the ones that you want. I'm gonna go with uh, this one here. Create button. I'm gonna title it Play. And what we need to do is set this button to go to track one when it is clicked. So with that clicked, you notice over here the inspector window's changed again and now it's under button and we want to change its target. So the target is going to be tracks and stories, track one, track. And you can see here, because I put chapters in, you could even start it from a certain point. So when you're doing say a sub menu with chapter selection, that's where you could um, put that information in. But we're just gonna go with that for now. And you'll notice over here that there is now an arrow pointing from menu one to track one. So it goes there, nice and simple. But what we also want is for the, when the video finishes, for it to jump back to the menu. And that is done by, with track one clicked, we go to um, over here again to the inspector and we change end jump to menu, menu one, menu. And you notice over here that it goes back. Nice and simple. So we can simulate this. We go to simulate. This gives you up a simulation window, of course. And I can change the display mode so I know what it's gonna appear like on an actual DVD player, depending on what I've got. Click the play button and there it goes. 
and there is the video. So nice and simple, very, very easy. And we can, um, that's the easiest way to view a video that you want to create a DVD of. And you'll notice after a, oh, another five seconds or so, at the end of this video, it's just going to jump back to the DVD title. And there it is. Easy, very, very easy. And if you want to create a um, a bit of text for the background, you know, go to the uh, tabs here with text, choose something or rather that you like. All right, fishies, swimming, ta-da, and that acts as a uh, yeah, um, as a title, and you can highlight that, right click and change fonts, so you can go to show fonts and you can change everything that you want there. All right, size, whatever you want to do. All right, very, very easy. Okay, and that is that. So we can simulate that again. Oh, look, there it is. The title's there now. Change to 16 by nine if we need to, and that's your title. You can spend a bit of time just messing around, trying to put backgrounds in, um, which is what you could use stills for, all right, which uh, you can put in the background, and um, or you could use templates as well. Templates are very easy to use if you want to use um, those, which are already there. So if I was to delete, just go back to all this, and um, if I wanted to use a certain template, click and drag, you would apply the template and you get stuff like that. You can create drop zones and set your buttons again, um, depending on your, what you wanted from them. And a lot of them do have animations as well. So that would animate um, your DVD menu, if you so wish. But that is up to you, what you want to do. So yeah, all in all, very easy. Easy indeed. I'm going to go backwards to my to my video here, the way that I've done it, and then in the end you just click burn. And away it goes. So it's asking me to in, uh, insert a DVD, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, so yeah, that's how you create a very simple DVD in DVD Studio Pro.